Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of the Super Paper Mario series. Last time we had finished up chapter 7 and um, had some... <laughs> we had some... Uh... The viewers have no context as to what's going on, but <laughs> they, we had some uh, pretty insane stuff go on and some pretty big lore. So anyway, uh, we have the devious duo, the dynamic it's duo. It's the dynamic duo. I was duo. getting there. The di yeah. Yeah. devious dynamic <laughs> duo. Just in Thanya. Hey gamers. And we're starting off with some dialogue. So yeah, why don't we get to it, Count Black. <laughs> Black. What? Spat Count Black in utter disbelief. Surely this news cannot be true. The heroes still live? Ah, uh, oh, I'm afraid so, my Count. In fact, they will be here before long. Whoa, is that true then? What are we doing twiddling our biscuits here? Count Black, let me go throw him a night's nice welcome party. I'll bring the punch. Oh, I want to play party with those party poopers too. Wait up, oh chunks. Me, 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 me. There they go. Looks like we're going to get some fights. Well, I'm not one to miss a party. No, oh, but wait one moment, dear Count. Does the name Blumiere ring a bell? <gasps> Where did you hear that name, Dementio? Oh, the mustached man's pixel went on and on. She said, I must stop, Blumiere. Oh. But I suppose there's no reason to pay any mind of the ramblings of a pixel. Shall for now, my Count. Ooh. Oof. Count Black, um, if that pixel is who you think it is, there's still time. You can still stop the prophecy um, from destroying everything. Yes, because if that's really her, is she still alive? You have to stop all of this. You know not what you are saying, Nastasia. The prophecy can no longer be stopped by Count Black. No one can stop it. Yeah, I'm on board with what you're saying. But there must be a way. There must. Lord Blumier! Bl <laughs> the man known as Blumier died long ago. Now there is only Black, the dark prognosticus's choice to fulfill the prophecy. Nothing more. But. Come to Count Black, heroes. If you hope to save these worlds, then come. Bl <laughs> Black. Ooh, guys. Ooh. Lore. Yes. Blue ear, my son, don't. Even your ancestors cannot handle that dark book. If you open it, there is no telling what might happen. I do not care, father. A world without her is empty. A life without her is empty. Speak, dark prognosticus. Teach your dark history. I await your command. Black. Lumiere, what have you done? Silence. The first prophecy beckons. I will erase every inch of this blasted world. B Blue me air! Don't do this! Blue me air! Blue me air is no more! I am Count Black, and no one shall stand in my way. Bleh, <laughs> Black! Alright, guys, that is lore. Yes. Ooh. No! Blue me air! You mustn't! Darling, how could you? Oh, darling, you. Why? Hey, Tippy, snap out of it, will ya? What? I thought you'd just gone back to town, but then I saw you lying there, not moving. And then you started shouting loudly. I have to say, it kind of startled me. Um, I'm alright. I'm sorry for startling you. In the air. Is that a person's name you were saying? Were you remembering something from your past, perhaps? No. It's nothing. Nothing at all. So, should we go to Merlon's? We ought to tell him that we found the last pure heart. Yeah. Alright then. Lore, guys. So, we have gathered all the pure hearts and all four hero of the heroes, it seems. <laughs> now we just stomp this black Count Black guy and call it a day. I fear for the poor people of this world who must continue to look at the sky and worry. We must act quickly and ease their hearts and minds. What troubles you, Tippy? The prophecy. Do we really have to destroy Count Black to stop it from happening? Uh, much of the dark prophecy has already come to pass, but stop it we must. It was, it was by Count Black's hand that the Chaos Heart was summoned, bringing this peril. 
Without him, the prophecy's power will wither, and all worlds can avoid their ends. Yes. I suppose you're right. I guess we always knew that, didn't we? Dippy, what's the matter, huh? My dear, was there something between you and this Count Black? Ooh, <laughs> lore. Um, no, nothing. It was nothing. I'm fine. Let's go. Very well, then. Once again, your first task is to set this pure heart in the heart pillar. Once you've done that, you must head back to the Black Tower in Flopside. Alrighty, then. So it's time to do that. I believe the heart pillar is once again in Flopside. Oh, the table. <laughs> oh, you're saving again. Yeah. Because why just, not? Because we can save several times. Why not? All right. All right. Tell me how to get to Flopside again. Uh, you have to go down um, the elevator and then, uh, yeah, do that first. That's up. I thought that was down, bruh. All right, guys, <laughs> we're going to take a little detour. <laughs> It's okay. I want to remember how to get this heart pillar because, you know. All right. Time to go back down, guys. Whee! Whee! All right. So, yes, it is correct. It's flop side. Alright, so let's head down. I think it's actually to the left. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, third time's a charm as they always say. Oh yes. Here we are. Okay. Alright, so you gotta come up with the question of the day. Yes, I, we do need a question of the day for today. Um, question of the day... Um, to the left, to the right, to the right, and you'll need Mario and like flip once you get to the very end. Nope, nope. Um, question of the day for those of you that have played the game, um, and finished it. What is your favorite post-game activity? Um, there are post-game activities. There are, yeah. There's post-game. Once you beat the main game, there are a few things you can do afterwards that are some few bonus challenges. Um, and I guess, what is your favorite? There's there's a few challenging ones, and then there's also just some kind of like collecting stuff. So I won't spoil what they all are for those that haven't played the game or whatnot. But um, you know, I guess spoiler alerts down in the comments. Um, but yeah, let us know. That door? Yeah. All right. Well, I never played this game, so I can't say. Yeah, I I would say um what do? I guess for me, uh, now you flip. For you. For me, um Something that, like, isn't a spoiler, and probably my favorite thing, was to try to collect all of the catch cards in the game. Like, as you know, you could find those cards that have the character's description, and you can capture enemies, and you can complete all of them. You can get every one. So, that is something I would try to do. So where do I go now? Uh, flip. You have to- I think you have to go all the way to the left and then flip. Gotcha. Yes. I wish we could unlock this door. I know. I don't think we can um, until decently through the game. Okay, now we can um, go upstairs. That is a down one. That is an up one. Ta-da! Woo! <sighs> ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -da -da. This would have been easier if we saved the... Uh, Warp pipe but thing. We but we had to die. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. I, and I could have gotten it again, but I just, I was like, I want to use our money for health stuff instead. And now it's what? Okay. Uh, actually, go to like right in front of Nolrim's house and then flip. Or actually, I think it's in front of this. I don't know. One of these. Just, yeah. Flip and then. Okay. So go this way and then go out that skinny path. Oh, fun. 
Chroma? It's okay. We gotta reboost. We gotta reboost. We gotta recharge. We gotta reboot. Okay, then... but he's figuring out, guys, where to put the um, pure heart because, um, yeah. It's been a hot minute since the J-Man's played all the way through this game, I'm assuming. Yes. Ooh, there's so... a pipe. Let's go. Uh, don't go in there, actually. Go so to the here. right. To the right. It says, I think. Yeah. And then we have to jump across these. Frick. Okay, I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need <laughs> Luigi. Yeah. Because I messed up. There it is. So that was a pretty easy one to find. Let's go, guys. <laughs> I hope Love Bee's sacrifice was worth it, you know? <laughs> yes. That was very emotional. There is Love Bee's final resting spot. All right, In a guys. white rectangle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Doors forming. Doors forming. Doors gonna form. Yep. And it's pink and black. Yes. That is the final door. The final chapter in the whole game is there. But you know, um, this was only a 10 minute episode, so why don't we um, go do some other fun stuff? And I know exactly where to go. So let's head on back um, and head back to like the main um, area past all these pillars, past all this fun. Oh, so the time has come. So there is some content. Let's see. It's no room. Heroes, the last door at the top of the Flopside Tower is in, in the center of town. I'll go ahead and wait there for you. Once you've prepared for the battle that awaits that waits beyond that door, come to me. So we're gonna find no room <clears throat> once we're ready. Yes. Uh, so let's let's flip back um, as Mario. 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 Paper Maria. Can we go in there? We can. We've been down there before, though. That's where the other heart pillars are. Gotcha. Yes. So let's head back that way. Alright, guys. So, yeah, it looks like we're going to meet up with Nolrem before and we're ready to battle it out. That is true. Let's uh, head back through that gate, too. Other way. And then um, let's go down. Let's, uh, that is up. I forget where the down is. That's, still That's up. also up. I think it's to the right all the way. But guys, the void is getting bigger. The void is getting bigger. But it's okay. We still have some time. All right, there's down. Yes. Oh. See, Lance, the whole next guy's gotten bigger. It's all going perfectly. Pretty soon, I'll finally get to see what the end of the world looks like. Um, all I don't right. think that's how it works, bro. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> bro, move it! <laughs> Thank you. Um, so I'm like, no, bro, that's not how the end of the world works. But yeah, I don't think you're gonna be able to see it. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> or remember it. No. Um, but yeah. Sure. I'll let you believe what you want to believe. <laughs> okay, so we're. And then down one more to the basement. And this bro's gotta move. There we go. <laughs> we want to have to talk to another guy who wants to see the end of the world. Yeah, literally. I think there's a fun little thing to do down here. Ooh, yeah. we're in the basement. So let's, let's head inside of this building. B1. Oh, there's some guy. Should we talk to him? Uh, ah, it's the spot. The first sip of coffee is the tastiest. Oh, the pleasure of anticipation. Oh, it's this guy. Come on in, hang loose. This is the Bevergarium Underground. The over there. I'm the owner of this pad, my name's Kossin, so okay, good to see you, etc. Listen, in my line of work I hear gossip, even gossip I don't give a hoot about. But who knows, somebody might care about this stuff, maybe that somebody's you. So okay, if you ever want to talk, you know where to find me, in this spot. For just a few coins I'll tell you some interesting stories, I'm not even kidding. What do you think? Let's try some. You here for a story? I can tell you when I call more flipside history for 10 coins, interested? So Flipside's convenient, created by ancients in a space between dimensions. That means you can open up portals to all the other worlds from there. But on the other hand, it's strangely susceptible to influences from other worlds. So the ancients built the town in a way that would stabilize this effect. And that particular way was, do you know what? 
The town was built in duplicate with both flip side and flop side versions. They realized that with light, without dark or vice versa, it would never be stable. You need both sides for, perfect, for perfection, you know? Having two opposite sides is the secret of the town's stability and long te longevity. I'm all out. If you want to hear another story sometime, you know where to find me. Okay. I, I thought this would be something else. Actually, try flipping in here, just for shits and giggles. Maybe there's something. Ah, okay. There is something here. Okay. It's in these. A golden card. A card that allows you to play a hidden arcade game. And then there's something in this chest, too. Cooking Disc B. A data card for the dining specializer. Well, anyway. Okay, so that was fun. Yes. Now you're trapped here! Whoa! I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, so... I, I thought this was actually the arcade. It turned, I think the arcade is in Flipside. But we can go to Flipside, couldn't we? Yes, we can. With the return pipe. I didn't just use the return pipe. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't cheat. Look at you working smarter. Hey! It was him, guys. I don't condone the return pipe. I don't condone the return pipe. Thank nah. you. Okay. Ouch. All right. I would just like to say that I did not use it. It was him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Whatever you say. Mm -hmm. But anyway, guys, here we are back in flip side. We're back. So you want to find the arcade, huh? Yeah, so we have to go down. Okay, that's up. Down is to the right, right? No, to it's the to the left. Because uh, flip side and flop. I know side it's flipped! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so um, I forgot because everything's freaking flipped because they just want to be funny that way. Yeah, it's quite comical. That girl looks like she's a carrot in her hair. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Oh All my right, goodness. guys, we went down. So now what? Where's the arcade? So we have to go down again. My lord. Okay. More fun, guys. This is content for you because we already did what we needed to do. So we're just doing some extra fun shebangs for you. Yeah, just a little bit of extra there fun. There it is. All right. Let's head on in. Wee. Wee. But we need to flip again. We already talked to this guy. Yeah. But there are games, you said? There should be, yes. I think through this pipe. You don't have to be flipped to go in there. Okay, it's, well that would be great. Yeah, it's a lot easier to just do that. Dissolve. Okay, and we're dissolving, and we're going into a hidden... Arcade. Arcade! Should we talk to some guys? Let's talk to this guy. Yes. Oh, I'm most pleased another gaming customer has found us. Welcome to the Palace of Gaming Pleasure, the Arcade! I am the master of this fine establishment. You can, you may call me the Interchad. <laughs> it is a pleasure to I mean, meet you. <laughs> now that the introductions are out of the way, let me tell you about this place. This is the arcade, a place for gamers to enjoy gaming. Hey, guys, it's for <laughs> us. <laughs> to play games, you must first purchase Flipside tokens. Just come see me with a few coins, and I'll give you the tokens you need. But you cannot return them. So we have some coins. Let's get some tokens, because why not? All right, collect a lot of tokens. You can turn them into prizes. So, get play games, get prizes. So let's. Um, is that a golden card you clutch in your hand? Pardon my insolence, valued gamer. Please access our elite game immediately. All right, so we can play a new game. Insolent, valued gamer. How can I bring you a gaming pleasure? So should we get some tokens? Yes. How many moon would you like? Let's. let's take five. Yeah, let's do five. Yes. All right, guys. All right, so let's uh, let's use our tokens for some games. So over here. Yes. All right, guys. Here we go. We're gonna do some gaming. Indeed. Forget me not. Yes. Ooh. Oh, we don't have enough. Oh, we need ten tokens. Boo. Boo. So we gotta get some more. Quit. That's. 
That's hateful, guys, but that's okay. We can just go get more tokens. Yeah, exactly. Thanks, bro. No. no. So let's play a game. Yeah. Why not? So um, the j mans can pick the game we play. Yes. Here you go. Okay. So mm -hmm. my favorite, I think, has been Tilt Island. This one, for me, uh, you I You want to explain the game? Yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory, but you tilt your Wii remote like this, and you just want to... You see Mario moves when it tilts, and then you want to get the good stuff and avoid the bad stuff. So by good stuff, I mean... Food. Food like this. Yes. Cows. No. Spikes. Food. Flower. All right. So okay. once you get five, then you clear the round. How many rounds are there? I think it just goes until you die, basically. Fun. So I'm going to give it another shot, and then you're going to give it a go. Oh, my God. A game within a game. Exactly. It's They're called fun. mini games. Spikes. Flower. Ooh, nice. So when you have this thing, you can um, actually destroy, like, other... With that flower, it's kind of like an invincibility thing. Cool. Okay, so right. I just tilt the weird... Yeah, you only... You just tilt. Anything. Yep. Okay, cool. And you have lives, so you just don't want to get hit by things. It's just bad things so far. Oh, my God. No, literally, right? No! <laughs> it's okay. Okay, I'm back. Nice. Ooh. I made it, guys. Round cleared. So now, as you can see, now you need to get six things. There's six boxes. This is actually kind of fun. Yeah. Okay, so... As you can see, guys, Mario is clutching. <laughs> ah, cow! Cows! Spiky things! Cows! It's food! Oh, you can fall off. I didn't know that! <laughs> I forgot to mention that. Frick, guys, you didn't tell me that you could fall off. Yeah, it's also because I didn't... I forgot if you, like, fell off. Like, we if died. you actually fell off or not. Oh, no. That's okay. But that so was fun. So we finished. Yes, yeah, so I didn't know you could fall off. So, so we, we got go. eight tokens. So we made our money back. Now, with the extra tokens, let's try something else. Let's do... yeah, why not? Forget me not. What is... how do you play this? I actually don't know. Flip panels over with A to find two of the same picture. Find so, all, like, memory. Yeah, find all the pairs to clear a round. But mess up three times in a round and your game is over. So basically memory. Okay, cool. So let's try it. Let's give it a whirl! Okay, point this at the screen. Okay. Okay, those are Dimensional and those are O-Chunks. I see. This one's pretty easy to me. Oh. Oh wait, O-Chunks is over there. Yeah. And, and they the other flip around. And is over there, right? Yeah, down here. Yep. And then Bowser. Boom. That Perfect. was fun. All right. Oh no, no, I have bad memory with this. I'm not stuff. good at this either. It's okay. Okay. I seen the stage. I saw Bowser. Yeah, that one and that one are in this Where's Bowser? Bowser's at that corner, and then, nope, um, no, uh, the one that it just moved up. Yeah, that's one. Okay. I don't know the other ones, though. Those are the only ones I remembered. Oh, Ooh, nice. Let's go! Perfect! Your turn. Okay. It's more cards, though, so. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, chunks. I, I saw... know where Peach is. Yeah. Peach is that one up there. Okay. That that one right up there. No, 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 no. Yeah, up there. And then the one in between. Yep. Yeah. There we go. There you go. All right, you gotta help me. Okay. I just gotta remember where like some are. Oh boy. Okay, so I know I saw this. Yeah. Station. Oh, it flips. No. This stage is the bottom one, the one that's most bottom. Not that, yeah. Okay. okay. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, those two are Mario. 
I didn't catch the other ones, though. Dang it! Oof. It's okay. Nice. Boom. Okay, okay perfect. Okay. It's gonna get harder. Okay, so you, you you it's only fuck up three times in a round. You get Oh, them I back. didn't even get to see. Okay, I saw Mimi. Yeah, Mimi's those this two one right this there. One. Right here. Yeah. Um Yep. Oh wow. No. Nope. Fuck. It's okay. I think Marlon's up there. Nope, that's Peach. That's Peach. Peach moved. No, Peach moved oh. to there. These are Peach, and then the other two are just Merlin. Yep. Okay. Woo! We're playing a game within a game. All right. Should we give us a try? Yeah. I gotta remember what things are. That's Peach. Okay, I saw Peach. Peach. And then those two, that one, and then the one right next to it. Yeah, those are the same. Okay. I didn't catch anything else, unfortunately. Dang it. Okay, it's okay. Dang it. Right. Oh, Chunks just flipped. Um, oh, that bottom one. It's not letting me. There we go. Okay. okay. Oh, Chunks is somewhere. Uh. No! Ah! It's okay. That was hard. Yeah, this is a hard one. But it was really fun. Agreed. I liked it. Okay. All right. Do you think we're done with some with the gaming? Yes, most likely. How many tokens do you have? 17. I was going to see if we could do Hammer Whacker, but that's yeah. okay. That was, I think that's the one that we unlocked. But that was okay. We got a taste of the arcade. And so just to show what you can do, you can um, trade items for tokens. So What do you think? Um, Nothing really. Yeah. Maybe a mystery box. What does it do? Only one way to find out. Sure. All right. All right, so, let's head on back. We got a mystery box. We'll see what's in it. Yes. So that was fun. Yeah. Fun arcade game. All right. Let's head on out of here. And uh, we're going to have to now head to um, the flop side and talk to Null Rim. But we've seen that a million times, so we're just going to we're just going to jump there. Okay, see you guys in a moment. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Hey, gamers, so we're back. We got some stuff, you know. We did. Uh, oh, right, he's not here. He's at the tower. <laughs> he's at the tower. So we but, got some stuff. We cooked up some concoctions. Yes. So as you can see, I got us a little bit more stacked with items. I turned our, um, what are they called? The red apples into sky juice. That's 15 instead of five. We got I, some spicy soup. Yes. I cooked our hot sauce in a spicy soup. Got a snow cone fried shroom plate, spit roast, and um, also got a, a block block volt shroom. And we got a honey jar as a reward. So we've got ourselves loaded on some good items for chapter eight because we will probably be needing them it is definitely a tough chapter um in my opinion i do think chapter eight's a little more straightforward than chapter seven like chapter seven's a bit of a maze this one i don't think is as much of a maze and as difficult to that matter but we'll see this is the final door eight pure hearts versus the dark prognosticus castle black awaits Ooh. There is something on the last page of the Light Prognosticus. Only those who have not abandoned hope can turn back the prophecy of doom. They walk forward into the future, no matter how... I got a hair in my mouth. Dark and uncertain <laughs> it may be. You have fought all this way because you believe the future could be bright. I can't go through this door with you, but I send you with all the hope in my heart. I know that you can do it. I, too, believe it in my heart. Thank you, both of you. Leave it to us. Are we gonna group hug? Enough pep talks, Gramps. I'm doing this for me. Dippy. I don't know what it is in your mind, but if this is too hard for you, please feel free to stay behind. No, I'm going. I've decided. I must do this. Tippy, if your memory returns... 
Tippy, you've changed much. You've grown so strong. So, be sure to return safely to me. I will, Merlin. Let's go. Let's defeat Count Black. Let's save all the Wii's worlds from destruction. All right. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. And hurry, for my the worlds may not have much time. <clears throat> boy, guys. Yes. That's throwing. In that black span of nothing, you will find Castle Black. You may face battles harder than any you have endured thus far. If you feel ready to face this challenge, then please go forward. All right. So we will be going forward through this door in the next episode. And we will be entering Chapter 8. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today. A little bit of um, sidetracking and kind of exploring some stuff before we head on in and do this once and for all. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. We're getting close to the end of the series too. Um, Super sad, I know. I know. So hopefully... You guys will stay tuned for the rest of it. Thanks for watching, and be sure to stay tuned for more. Later, gamers.